welcome back to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution I your girl yes me as you can tell by the title am in Hawaii <laughs> I am on a solo location. I just landed in Honolulu and I'm not gonna lie guys I'm not honestly even in the mood to look I'm tired. Maybe because I'm tired today uh, Maybe that's why I feel this way, but yo, like I just I don't feel like vlogging I just want to be here. Also, it's very hot. So normally when I go on vacation I plan my lookbooks. I'm ready to slay the game, but this time I didn't have that luxury I don't even have summer clothing and it's flipping hot here because again, I wasn't prepared Remember I thought I was gonna be in South Africa at this time so I don't really have like the best outfits I'm literally just working with what I could find in my wardrobe and you know ladies you know what I'm saying when I say I have nothing to wear so my outfits I don't know how it's gonna look for this vacation I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing now um, it's literally like this is what I'm wearing it's literally just a black tight and a black t-shirt and I'm gonna wear black sneakers along with it anyway so I think it's like 5 p.m. and I'm gonna go and get something to eat actually I'm gonna go buy a swimsuit first that's another thing that's how unprepared I was I don't even have a swimsuit like a swimming costume and where I come from I'm from like PA oh that's where I stay and the state which I'm coming from which is PA it's winter time like there's snow outside so of course there's no way where they're selling swimsuits so I'm first gonna try go buy a swimsuit then I'm gonna go eat then I'm gonna try hit the beach and I just want to relax tonight I'm really tired tomorrow I'm gonna try do lots of adventures stuff Stuff, and I'm leaving the next day to go to another island in Hawaii so let's hope Honolulu is gonna show me the good vibes my first full day in um, Ohau, Honolulu, Hawaii. Um, I know I told you guys yesterday of all the things that I wanted to do. I ended up spending hours looking for a swimsuit, which first of all was super, super, super expensive. But also it was hard to find something that would really fit my boobs without them being all over the place and that would ultimately traumatize people's kids. But I ended up finding something, but it literally took me hours. By the time I was done, I ended up going to go eat. When I was done with that, it was super late and I was tired. Yo, uh -uh. Holding a vlogging camera is a lot of work. Anyway, so right now it's about to be half past seven. Um, I'm gonna walk to this other cafe where I plan to eat and hopefully get some pictures. I'm honestly going there for the pictures and maybe grab something to eat. And then I'm trying to stay there for like an hour at half past eight. I wanna get an Uber to my testing site. I need to get another COVID test because I'm leaving in two days. And no, not two days, I'm leaving tomorrow. And I need a um, COVID test to go to the next place. Otherwise I'll have to quarantine for 14 days, which I don't have time for. Um, so I'm gonna go get a COVID test when I'm done with my COVID test then we're gonna figure out what are we gonna do for the day um, but I just wanted to say good morning from Hawaii look at my hat it's so cute isn't it let me show you guys my outfit hope you can hope you can see look it's so adorable So I just got back from getting my COVID test done because I'm leaving tomorrow. I really hope the results come in time and of course I'm really praying that they're negative. Anyway, so I had breakfast at that breakfast place that I told you guys about and then I got my COVID test done and now I'm waiting for a call from the concierge to try to figure out 
what I'm going to do. I have an idea of what I want to do. I think I want to go to like this botanical garden that has a really great view and then I'll go to the beach. Like that's enough for me. Also because I'm going to another part of um, Hawaii anyways. So there's still more adventure that awaits. So there's no pressure for me to like do as much as I can here. Two hours later. Hey guys, so we are at the Botanical Garden. This is Yvette. Hi everyone. And um, we're gonna go explore. It, it, it looks gorgeous. Like I'm gonna show you guys. It literally looks breathtaking. I bet there's fairies up there. I know, there's definitely fairies up there for sure. Like something like yes. mystical and magical and you know? I definitely agree. Okay, if you were to become one mystical creature, what would you become? A, a unicorn, let's go with that. <laughs> a un I agree. I agree. A, a unicorn. unicorn. Yeah. Maybe a fairy. I think I'd want to be a fairy. A fairy is really cute. I like I like fairies too. They're tiny. But they don't bother anybody. They just do their thing. and just fly around yeah, and be magical, right? Like does. Tinkerbell. <laughs> like the black Tinkerbell. All right, well, ready to go. Guys, I feel like I am on top of the world right now. Like this is beautiful oh by the way we took a car here we initially actually had parked outside and we were gonna walk up but it's actually good that we ended up driving in because wow the steeps are steep the steeps are steeping okay they're very steep um, but there's also different paths that you can like choose to drive through it's very very big here um, and we just walked up a small little, you know, not even a mountain, like a small little baby, I don't know, steep, and it knocked me out. I am not in the right attire. These jeans are not for mountain climbing. They're for vibes. Good times, vibes for the babies, but not for the mountain climbing. Oh, enjoy the universe. Yes. The universe is beautiful for you. Mm -hmm. You only walk, you need to move out. Enjoy the universe. Mm -hmm. That's life. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and tell them, from, tell them we're from the same place. Yeah, we're from Bethlehem, so nothing impossible. Mm -hmm. You need to do it, uh, what you want to do it, and promise yourself you'll be there. Mm -hmm. Because we have the health. Disease is coming, but you need to be positive mind mm -hmm. and you realize yourself. Yes. So it's come through and you made the people happy. So all the people is so happy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank you. You see, let me see. Here, botanical garden and it is very pretty here I did see an animal for the first time and it was looking at me I was looking at it we were looking at each other I backed down I, yeah, I did I turned away because you know you can't come into someone's land or their house and then want to fight and this is buddy's land so I'm gonna back off and get out of here before I get bitten guys we've been here for literally I don't even know how long we've, I don't even know how long we've been here but it has been hours we have gone on different trails we saw lakes and animals and kids and people and all sorts of things but now it's time to go um probably gonna go get some food and then go to a beach and get some water because it's very hot hey guys so um, I just finished swimming. I finally got to swim in the ocean after the longest time. So I just finished swimming and I tried on this little Hawaii thing outfit that I bought. Um, about to take some pics and then head out. It's been a long day. Definitely ready to hit by again now, take a shower. It's been fun and it's been real. I don't know when to stop. 
stopped. All right, so when you look on the screen, uh -huh. we're just gonna go until it says $10. Which is six right now, right? Yes. Okay. It's fine, okay. yes. Just take it out. Like, right, it's fine, yeah. You're good. good. Yep. <laughs> there you go. That? Yep. <laughs> I need you guys pumped. I'm the one for you. Um, okay, bye. <laughs> Hi guys, so I have reached the end of the day. I had a very good day today. So just to narrate my day to you, I woke up at 6 a.m., I got dressed, I went to the cafe where I went to go get some food. It was this really amazing waffle with, with berries. Yo, that thing was nice, guys. It went down like this, it was so nice, it was so good. After the cafe, I went to go get my COVID test done. So tomorrow, I'm going to another part of Hawaii, and so I have to present a negative COVID test, otherwise I'm gonna have to quarantine where I'm going. Going and obviously I don't want to do that so um, I had to go get COVID tested this cost me a hundred and fifty dollars um, which is actually a lot of money but the other place that I had called was going to charge me three hundred dollars so you can see this is like round about the pricing that you're gonna get for these things especially because it's for travel it's not out of um, necessity after the COVID test I came back to the hotel to just like get a little bit of rest and then I linked up with Yvette I went to the cafe in the morning to go eat and then she walked in after me and then um, I was trying to figure out who can take pictures of me because this place is like so nice but I asked her to take my picture she took my pictures and then she was like hey by the way like I've literally just moved here not too long ago and I don't have any friends like would you like to hang out sometime and be friends and I was like well actually I'm not here for a long time I'm leaving tomorrow but I am looking for things to do if you want to come with me we can do it together and she was like yeah sure so we exchanged numbers and Instagram and stuff like that and then when I got back from my COVID test I hit her up I was like all right do you have a car she's like no I was like all right bet let's rent one she's like okay cool so she went to go get the car and, and that's actually how we linked like it's literally a storyline from a movie and we did communicate about COVID you know like proving the uh, negative COVID status and stuff like that we went to the botanical gardens forgive me if I'm saying it wrong Humaluhia uh, Botanical Gardens and that was so beautiful guys that place is gigantic the views are amazing um, it's great it will be great to go with a group of people where you can just have a picnic it's also free by the way I forgot to add the Botanical Gardens are absolutely free of charge literally there was a bride there taking her wedding pictures and I also met a family there who came from exactly where I came from in America so you guys know I stay in Pennsylvania they came from the literally when I say the exact part of Pennsylvania Pennsylvania that I'm from I mean I could literally walk in the street and see them um, which I thought was so amazing like what a small world I think we must have spent like two hours or so there and then we went to go grab some food so we just got food from like this joint it's not it's like, a, like a small little marketplace Um, I had an Angus burger, which was so good. That thing slapped. Yo, with Coke. Yo, 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 guys. Yo, that thing was nice. And then we went to the beach where I got to swim in the ocean after so long. I love swimming in the ocean. I always say that swimming in the ocean, by the way, is easier than swimming in a pool because the ocean carries you, it pushes you. It would be nice to go swim in the ocean with someone who, like, I'm pretty confident in swimming in the ocean, but, like, I'm not... I'm a, I'm a regular person who taught myself how to swim. I'm not an expert swimmer or anything. Um, and I go to the ocean maybe like once a year if I even get to. So it would have been nice to be with someone who um, is more accustomed to swimming in the ocean, who maybe would have been like, okay, it's fine to avoid the rocks, let's do this or whatever, so that they can go out and you know I can be like, okay, cool, if they're going out, I'm going out, you know what I mean? So just someone who can help me be a little extra dizzy. Basically what we did to get around is we rented a car and it cost 40 bucks for the whole day. So she paid 20, I paid 20 and then um, um, we also had to bring back the car with either a half or full tank so we had to pay for gas for ten dollars and I this is my this was my very first time pumping gas guys so I'm just saying I'm the girl I got a skill anyway so we paid five five for that and then she dropped me back at my hotel where I went to go swim I don't think this thing is making me tired look at 
can I put my camera? Traveling during COVID, how does it work? So you have to wear a mask the whole entire time from the airport into the plane. Um, I had to take a two hour flight from Pennsylvania to Chicago. And then from Chicago, I had to take an eight hour flight to Hawaii. That is so long. And I'm used to 16 hours because of flying to South Africa. But I realized I'm not used to traveling anymore, guys, because those eight hours kicked my ass, bro. I was feeling air sick. Uh, twice I was feeling air sick. You know, I was just feeling ugh, really nauseous. Um, but it was an eight hour flight and you have to have your mask on the entire time. The only time you can take it off if, is if you're gonna eat. And they don't offer like food, food like a sandwich, only snacks and soda and stuff like that. Um, so it's a good thing that I ate before. Another thing is Hawaii has a different time zone to the different parts of America. So Chicago and PA are just a one hour difference and Hawaii is like a five hour difference. So I did suffer from a bit of jet lag. Um, and yeah, another thing is to come into Hawaii, you need to present a negative COVID test otherwise you're gonna have to quarantine for 14 days and this COVID test needs to be done no more than three days before your scheduled trip and then because I'm moving to another part of Hawaii I have to get another COVID test again so I don't have to quarantine in the next part of Hawaii it's also really expensive guys things here are so so expensive a food in Jay is super expensive anyway let me go eat i'm hungry i want to go eat come back and sleep so that's it for today guys i hope you like this video i really hope you enjoyed my honolulu vlog stay tuned for more of my hawaii vacation and we're going to vegas next so keep your eye out but that's it for today guys i hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i will be back with more videos peace and love guys